Good evening. Here is the 11th and last reminder of why Jesus came to suffer and die on the cross. Jesus suffered and died to destroy the hostility between different races. Listen to Ephesians 2 verse 14 to 16. For he himself is our peace, who has made us both one, and has broken down in his flesh the dividing wall of hostility, by abolishing the law of commandments expressed in ordinances, that he might create in himself one new man in place of the two, so making peace, and might reconcile us both to God in one body through the cross, thereby killing the hostility. It is no secret that one of the greatest problems in the world today and also in South Africa is racism. And this is not something that is unique to the age that we are living in. And the Jews in the time of Jesus and the Apostles couldn't stand the non-Jews. And they looked down on people from other races, having the mindset that they were simply better than them and superior to them. But Jesus came to die on the cross to reveal that death that before God, there is no distinction or preference when it comes to races and skin color. Romans 3 verse 22 and 23 says, For there is no distinction, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. And so the only way that anybody can know God is through Jesus Christ. You see, everyone that will be saved will be saved by grace alone, through faith alone, in Christ alone. And it doesn't matter what you look like or what language you speak. None of those things give anybody any advantage before God. Galatians 3 verse 28 is clear on this. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither slave nor free. There is no male and female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. And so Ephesians 2 verse 16 stated that Jesus came to reconcile us both referring to Jews and Gentiles alike, namely all kinds of people in one body, the church, to God, and to kill the hostility, the enmity, the racism that exists between different kinds of people. You see, the solution to racism in the world today is the gospel of Jesus Christ. One day in heaven, we will see this picture according to Revelation 7, verse 9 and 10. After this I looked, and behold, a great multitude that no one could number, from every nation, from all tribes and peoples and languages, standing before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed in white robes with palm branches in their hands, and crying out with a loud voice, Salvation belongs to our God, who sits on the throne and to the Lamb. If that is what heaven will be like, since Jesus suffered and died to destroy the hostility between different races, the church now in, the, in this age should also reflect that reality. And I pray that it will be so. Now, I hope that these 11 reminders of why Jesus came to suffer and die on the cross has stirred your heart to a greater love and worship of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Please remember and think about this, that Jesus came to die for us so that we might live for him. As 2 Corinthians 5 verse 14 and 15 says, For the love of Christ controls us, because we have concluded that one has died for all, therefore all have died. And he died for all, that those who live might no longer live for themselves, but for him who for their sake died and was raised. May this be true of you. Amen.